Hey guys, what's up? NPS3D here here and welcome back to another excited iPhone visual effect tutorial. So today we are going to create this scene. Relax, it's an iPhone. This video is sponsored by Ajus. More coming in this video. So this is a visual effect I try to do. In this tutorial you will see how we will create this so and if you are deeply learned visual effect i will highly recommend go and check out our latest visual effect course which is modern visual effect we already sold 10 copies and now this course is available with 10 percent of discount code every details is available inside our video description so, so go and check it and without any more delay let's get started this tutorial we need few clips i already recorded three clips let me play the clips here you can see first clip and second clip and i am pretending that my iphone is falling and with you know with cgi we will add an iphone falling iphone perfect okay let's select the first one drag and drop it here now let's right click create a new solid and let's rename this to the e3d because we are going to use element 3d to add 3d object inside our real world footage so here i'm using element 3d okay go to effect and control and press control space this is a utility plugin from video copilot I, you can also go over here effect and preset and search the effect element and this is a plugin from video copilot just drag and drop to this layer perfect now let's go inside the scene setup and go to the file import 3d object i already downloaded a 3d iphone model i will put download link in my video description 3d object and let's select the iphone press open choose auto normal hit ok and check normalize size so now we have an iphone here i will fix few things first uncheck this draft texture click here and hide the grid now i'll press ctrl and click here it will select the material go to here advanced section and change the blend mode to screen so that we can see the camera i will ctrl click here to select this one and just down the opacity a bit so we can see the flash I will press ctrl click and select this one and select this to the material and here I will increase the reflectivity all the way to the 100% so now our apple logo has a reflection. To hide this black I will press ctrl and click here to select and maybe I can uncheck this material and it will remove that same I will do it here so looks pretty much ok. Here I will go to the preset environment type basic 2k and I will load inbuilt environment map here i'll go to the environment and increase the brightness a bit more so this is our iphone looking good i will select the model and go down and check this optimize mesh inside the surface option hit ok and now you can see we have an iphone in our scene and if i will right click and create a new camera and choose it like 20 mm hit ok and now i can press c to change the camera tool like scale rotate and move okay so you can see we have an iphone in our scene and this looks pretty good in this case if you wanna be more precise you can capture a 360 environment of the same location to give it a same lighting but in this case it's okay to me so here i will simply select the camera transform and reset and now i will select the element 3d go to the group one and create a group null i will find the area and see my acting so it's good okay so i will press p and just click here to add a keyframe in the position in the beginning maybe let's 60 go all the way till over here and just make it like this perfect like iphone is falling now I will press shift R and it will also reveal the rotation properties. So let's add a keyframe into rotation. So I will add a keyframe into here you can see in Y direction and maybe also in a Z direction a little bit like this way. Come down and it will flip like this way and also at the same time make the Z0 and let's rotate this to the 180 degree and move it all the way over here and let's I think I should make it like minus 180. Perfect. Here you can see looking good to me. And here maybe I can go all the way like this. Like iPhone is falling and all. Yeah, this looks good. Now I will select all the keyframe. First I will select the position keyframes and I will just right click 
keyframe assistant easy is and go to the graph editor and here i will just with holding shift make the curve graph like this okay so it will start slow but it will you know end of little fast so let's yeah here you can see so this looks pretty okay till here the movement is okay now it's time to make it a little better first let's save the project vfx tutorial first let's add a new light so here i will new add a new light and this will be uh, maybe a point or maybe a parallel light so let's add a point light and intensity will be 100 percent and hit okay let's press p Let's create another light and this will be for the ambient light and let's make it 10% okay let's go to the element 3d and let's go to the render settings physical environment and here increase the lighting influence and increase the gamma to add some contrast perfect here you can see and if you think the reflection is pretty sharp so maybe i can come back here press ctrl and select this texture and go down and just down the glossiness to make it little blurry do with this it okay and i can also do the same with the camera go to the render settings and add ambient occlusion in this case we don't need a ray trace enable it increase the intensity high add a contrast and uh, advanced option and increase the AO lighting influence before and after just a bit okay in last part i can add more press p to adjust it more like this just adding a highlight over here let's go to the element 3d and uh, go to the output and increase the in hand multi sampling and super sampling too and sampling and al aliasing too to make it make edges smooth okay if i go to the full you can see and in the ambient occlusion let's add two samples so this looks good so far movement is amazing but we need motion blur because it is falling so just simply click here and it will add motion blur here blur here you can see into our object and this looks good if i'll go more close here you can see some low samples issues so if your system is not powerful you are good to go but if you want to do you can go to the render settings motion blur and just change the samples to 12 and this looks pretty okay here i will create a new adjustment layer and just make it below of element 3d and let's add a camera lens blur and i'm adding just because this is before okay so when iphone will come close to the camera our scene will be blur and our iphone will be in focus so for that let's add blur radius over here 5 and all the way here to 1 press u to reveal the keyframe do like this and come here and let's make it 12 and yeah perfect so it's an iphone you don't have to worry let's add one more thing let's select our footage and let's apply a lumetri color go to the basic correction increase the shadow and add a contrast to our scene down the highlight a little bit add a contrast go to the creative and increase the vibrance and saturation go to the curves and here maybe i will just simply down these values a bit so this looks good now the main problem with this is i have to include a next scene texture over here so let me show you how you can do it here if you don't wanna you know merge with a second scene here you can add your youtube page or uh, your own wallpaper and or you can do anything it's a basic idea but let's take a moment and thanks to AUUS for sponsoring this video so here i'm using AUUS pack manager which comes for different software just like after effect premiere pro so you just need to install the extension the most popular pack is i want it all bundle they have a lot of here you can see a tons of bundles which is very very powerful so obviously they gave me a license and i am able to access all the packs they have a lot of transitions and also they have vhs which is like they offer a lot of category like glitches camera overlays and all but today 
okay i'm going to use one for this tutorial like camera scene here you can see and i already installed it you just need to click here and things will be installed so i i already installed it here you can see they have a lot of variety and the best thing which i you know noticed with ages here you can see this is for the landscape mode but our video is in a vertical shape so what i have to do i just have to you know just drag and drop it here and it will download it just in a few seconds and here you can see i don't have to do anything and this is set by default in vertical mode so let me delete this and i'm going to use a cell phone screen like this one so i will simply drag and drop and just just move it here and yeah i don't have to do anything perfect and this is a blogger kit where you can create a lot of you know things for your youtube so this is the pack which i used to create my end screen and this is really cool so soon i will make a dedicated video where i will use uh, you know like four to five packs and i will explain them more briefly so don't forget to check out the link is available in my video description let's move on to the tutorial add a transition i want to add a different scene over here so first what i will do i will select this and i'll press ctrl d to duplicate this composition okay let's double tap here and now this is a different scene here i will simply select the second one and press alt drag and drop here and it will replace this so here you can see same movement over also here so what i can do if you want to change the movement you can do it the only thing i want to change is it's like ctrl shift h select this and just move it here or maybe i can press r and add some rotation and let's play to like it's falling and i'm adding an extra keyframe in here you can see you can see so yeah it's little different and if you wanna change the color you can do it and for the color change i can go i just simply search the iphone hex code i just search the iphone hex code and here all the iphone colors here you can see so let's copy the green one ctrl c to copy and uh, here i will go to the scene setup and press ctrl and click here and select this diffuse color double tap and ctrl v to paste ctrl click here and ctrl v to change and now maybe i can just make it little bright or dark and same i will do with here also ctrl v and let's make it little dark so yeah you can see looks pretty good hit ok and this is a, a green iphone ok so what i have to do now so now we have a two scene right let's uh, also slide this so that our iphone start with our acting ok and here maybe i can you know just rotate and change the animation a bit more to make it more smooth but anyways let's take a screenshot okay so let's make it full raise control space and take a screenshot of this scene okay and let's come over here and let's make it full and take a screenshot of this scene perfect go to the project control space and click here to the gallery and let's select this above both and drag and drop it here perfect so now we have a both textures so in scene first i will use a texture 2 so i will simply drag and drop it here and i will hide it go to the element 3d ctrl s to save the project and uh, here i'll go to the custom layer custom texture and click here iphone go to the scene setup and i will select the screen with ctrl and click and go to the diffuse and choose the texture hit ok and go to the diffuse color and make it white perfect now the only issue here you can see the size is not perfectly like i need okay i will simply select this and here maybe i will try to stretch it a bit like 0.8 and with uv offset i can make it in a center and hit ok looks good i will click here again and maybe increase the brightness just a bit like 15 percent hit ok and hit ok Here you can see it's not you know uh, perfectly bright so i'll go to the scene setup once again and select our texture and increase the brightness more and hit ok here you can see now i'll go to the scene 2 okay and here i will use this texture first texture okay so i'll just drag and drop go to the element 3d 
custom layer custom texture map and load it go to the scene setup click the screen and do it just like before so here you have to take care of one thing like this is a first scene okay so you can see i am standing over here like this side and iphone our iphone is like this okay so in scene 2 when this will fall like this you must have to you know rotate it like here we can't do it here okay so i will simply pre-comp this let's double tap and select this transform and flip vertical okay and now it will flip like this way so you can see it's looking good let's go over here and see the second one so you can see i also have to flip flip this texture okay so pre-comp flip transform flip vertical and now it's perfect so let's go to the project and create another comp and this will be our final output and let's import both one by one and let's see what we can do okay so from here it start falling down okay so let's crush this with holding shift and let's start it from here let's go to the composition setting and let's make this to like three seconds perfect let's press n and let's see here i have to press n So you can see it's little good uh, there is a little bit of jerk here you can see so first thing here you can see the this uh, yellow scene is totally like warm and this scene is cool but little bright but this is not enough bright so i can go back inside element 3d again and select the texture and let's add some brightness over here and uh, let's go final output and uh, now it's little good and same i have to do with this scene and here you can see this is warm and this is little cool so i will go to the texture here and let's add a lumetri color and uh, let's in increase the temperature a little more until it's like little warm okay let's play and for this cut maybe i can move it one slider up yeah it's little better and also i can create a new adjustment layer and this will be for the transition control shift control shift d to cut okay let's make it short just area where both scene are you know joining and i can apply a chromatic abrasion rear chromatic abrasion and also a turbulence displace and here i can just down the amount and increase the size okay and let's you can see so yeah this is the thing i can also maybe control d and just put it over here yeah so this is uh, the basic concept to make a uh, effect like this and i hope you really enjoy it and if you'll spend more time you can uh, you know play and get more a uh, good result and you can you know use two to uh, like three four five scenes and combine them with a different color of iphone so i really hope you learn something with this tutorial and if this is the case please hit the like button you can also go to our channel and check we have a lot of visual effect and 3d tutorials related to after effect element 3d and blender so i will highly recommend go and check it and if you are interested you can also go and check it our course okay so thanks for watching this video thanks for loving me i am nps 3d and i will see you next time